welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with another makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing this classic smoky eye. So it's like a black smoky eye, kind of makes a little bit of a brown smoky eye. So this is my favorite look to do when I go out at night with my friends, go out partying or something like that, just a night out. This is a great evening look. So if you want to know how I got this smoky eye, please keep watching. Alright guys, so to begin this smoky eye, I'm going to be going in with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. This is the original one, not the remastered one. I only have the original one. So most of this look will be done from this palette. This is what I usually use to do my smoky eye. I don't like a super crazy, crazy dark smoky eye. So this is... This, you might not think this is like not crazy, like this might look crazy to you, but to me, like I've seen some really dark smoky eyes. For me, this is like a good in-between. I feel like it's not too dark, not too over the top. So let's get started. I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. And the first thing that I like to do is I like to blend from bottom to top with my smoky eyes. I know people do their smoky eyes in so many different ways. Like everyone kind of has like their own style. But for mine, I like to go from bottom to top. So what I'm going to do is take a Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush. And I will be taking the shade Black Truffle right here and the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. So I'm really going to pack this black onto the lid, just the lid. And I'm just going to start slightly bringing it up here just to cover the space of the lid and then from there we're going to start building up with other shades so for now just start packing this on this is a pretty good look for when you don't really know what look to do when you're like what can I do for my makeup look today I have no idea what I want to do especially for like a night out if you're going out to like something in the evening or like nighttime this is like a really 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 good look so this is the one that I always like do when I'm going out somewhere or like with friends at night or something like that or something that's more in the evening. I'll go for like a more smoky eye. The thing with smoky eyes is that I feel like they look super incredibly messy and just ugly until the end of your makeup session. So I would say don't freak out while you're doing it because it's going to look like horrible like this until like the end when you put everything together and everything's like all blended out so just keep that in mind the next thing we're going to do is take this pencil brush you can take any pencil brush that you have and i started going in with these two shades coco and henna and i'm kind of just like mixing those together so these i'm going to use to start blending into the crease I'm basically blending in this line that we created with the black shadow. This is where you're going to start to do your transition in the smoky eye because the smoky eye is like basically all about blending. Honestly, if you don't blend, it's going to look like a hot mess. So this isn't even like blending all the way yet. This is like prepping it kind of. So I'm just going to blend some into the crease. Get a nice blend all around, okay? Like don't just do it like halfway or like just here. Make sure it's blended all the way. So for this smoky eye, whenever I do them, I personally don't like to extend them too far out from like the end of my eye. Some people like to go like smoky and like a cat eye look, like a very extended eye look. I personally like to keep it right at the end of my eye, just like slightly out, like right there. It just depends on what kind of look you're going for. So if you want an extended cat eye, you would just keep going with this. Like you would extend this out and do the exact same steps. Just make sure that you're smoking it out into like the cat eye. And if you would want a more rounded eye that's focused like on your eyeball, then you would do more something like this. Um, and I like specifically used lashes that would complement that and everything. So it just depends on the kind of smoky eye look that you're going for. For this one, I personally like 
This one, this is just my favorite type of smoky eye. But like I said, there are like different types of smoky eyes that you could do. You could do like a berry smoky eye, like a cranberry smoky eye. You could do just all brown. I did add black into this one, but I have done one where it's just like a brown, just strictly brown smoky eye. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. Okay, so now you can see it still kind of looks like a hot mess, like a slightly blended hot mess, but still a hot mess. So now what we're going to do is do a little bit of fixing. A little bit of housekeeping. So we're going to go in with this Morphe M514 brush that's really, really dirty on the handle. Please ignore that. We're going to go in with this and smooth everything out before we go in with our last shadow to blend. So this I'm using really to soften everything up. I'm not really adding anything onto this. I did use this for this eye so it looks super like dark already. But um, I'm basically just using this to soften this out, to diffuse it. Before I apply that last shadow, that's really going to tie everything in together. Okay, so now I'm going in with my favorite brush. This is the Sigma E36 Blending Brush. And I'm going to be going into the shade Sandalwood right here. Love this brush for blending like the edges of shadow. This is my favorite brush ever. So I'm taking some of this shadow and we're going to blend this out all the way on the outer line of this shadow this is going to smooth everything out and it kind of makes it like slightly warmer i feel like the whole smoky eye i personally like a warmer smoky eye so i like how this kind of just ties everything in together so really quick on that same last blended line i'm going to hop into the BH Daisy Marquez palette. I know I've been using this a lot, but I can't help it. I really, really like it. And it has some really, really great shades. So I'm gonna be dipping into the shade Dulce right here and just tapping into that a tiny bit. And we are going to blend this in here as well. Okay, this is the part where we're gonna go back in and do a little bit more housekeeping. So I'm gonna go back in with that pencil brush and those two darker shades that we used in the crease, Coco and Henna. Make sure you always tap off the excess or else you're gonna apply this brush directly onto your lid and it's gonna have like a bunch of fallout and you're gonna have an over amount of shadow and we don't like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more here to this area in the crease. And then for the lid, since the lid has black, I don't necessarily want to keep the lid black or like as black as it is right now. I like to kind of soften that uh, color. So I like to go back in. I'm going to go back in with the same eye shading brush that I use, that Sigma eye shading brush. I love how it like packs on color. Now I'm not going to wipe it off or anything. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to go over the lid with the shade Coco right here. It has like a more brown tone. It's still dark, it's still bold, but this is how I like to kind of soften the black shadow on the lid. As I said, I don't like a super, super harsh smoky eye, so I do like to kind of soften this shadow here. I feel like it kind of brings everything in together. If you can see that there, make sure you get the inner corner of your eye. You don't want to have like a naked inner corner. It's kind of weird, <laughs> especially when the rest of your eye is like dark. Going back in with that Morphe brush to blend this out. Blending is the key to this look. So basically I do a lot of back and forth work, a lot of fixing, adding, I'm going to blend in that last line of shadow here. Going back in with that shade Sandalwood from the Huda palette and mixing it a little bit with Dulce from the Daisy Marquez palette, just a little bit. And I'm going to smoke this out a little bit more. All right, well that's looking nice and blended to me. Maybe not on the camera, because sometimes the camera shows different things than what I'm looking at here. I don't know if it's lighting. 
I don't know, the camera just picks it out differently, but sometimes the makeup looks really, really good here, like on my mirror and stuff like that, and then I see it, like, and I'm reviewing the footage, like, on my computer, and I'm just like, whoa. Okay, we're moving on to the lower lash line, which is kind of tricky. Honestly, I hate doing lower lash lines when it comes to, like, smoky eyes because they're, like, a lot of work, like, having to blend out, like, the liner inside, like, the lower lash line, but it is part of the whole look. Going in with my Sigma Gel Eyeliner and a... I always use this brush for my liner, especially when I'm using the gel eyeliner. Going in with a Sigma E06. This is very small and angled, so it's perfect for like liner, if you're putting like gel liner in your waterline. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So this is going in my waterline here. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a angled brush. This is a BH Cosmetics angle brush, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Black Truffle again and just kind of add some of this right underneath that gel liner in the waterline. Just to start giving it like a nice transition. Then I'm gonna go back in with an eye shading brush that I started out with. Gonna use a side that has the black shadow and I'm gonna just smoke this out a little bit with this. I'm going back in with that pencil brush and the two shades that we used, Coco and Henna, right here. And we're just going to lightly blend this right underneath the black shadow. So right here, start giving it that blend. The good thing with smoky eye looks is that it doesn't always have to look super neat. So you can always kind of like blend and like not worry about getting it like super, super crazy. Like not crazy, crazy, just like it doesn't have to be like super neat. You know what I mean? And I kind of like that look, especially like in my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back in with my favorite brush, Sigma Blending E36 and that shade Sandalwood right here. And we're going to apply that right underneath. Kind of creating like a little transition. Basically what we did up here, but like on the lower lash line. So now I'm going to prep my eyelashes. I'm using the Bold Face Makeup Lashes in Lash Goals. So super wispy, super full. And I like that they have a pretty good coverage of the eye. So it kind of goes like all the way around the eye to kind of complement the smoky eyeshadow that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on that and wait for that to get tacky. In the meantime, I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I've been using this for years. This has been my favorite one for like ever, ever, ever. It's not that it gives me like that much volume, which some people like prefer the volume, but it gives me length. And at this point, with the little lashes that I have, I think I prefer length over volume sometimes. So that's why I love it so much. And then also, while those lashes are getting tacky, I'm going to go in and do my inner corner highlight and like the brow bone. So this is the Too Faced Love Light You Light Up My Life highlighter. It is so beautiful. I mean, look at this. It is so gorgeous. So I'm taking a smaller detail brush, very, very small here, and grabbing some of this and putting this in my inner corner right about here. This is my favorite part of any eye look. I mean, look at that. That is so beautiful. And then I'm going to put some on my brow bone as well. When I do a smoky eye, especially something more bronzy, I love to put a lot of highlight. So I love a very glowy look when I do a smoky eye. As you can see, I do have some on here already. My skin is done. You obviously could tell that from the beginning of the video. I haven't done my skin in a video in a long time because I feel like you guys have seen that routine. So I don't know if it's like repetitive for you guys to be seeing that over and over again. I basically have been using most of the same products, like not the same every single time, but like the routine kind of mix it up with products that I've used in videos before. So if you guys want to continue seeing me do face in my tutorials, please let me know. I just am trying to make it a little bit faster since I know 
the most hard part, like the harder parts of makeup look are like the eye looks. So if that's something you guys wanna to see too, or if you guys like the way I'm doing my videos now, please let me know. I am willing to change my routine for you guys. Whatever you guys wanna see, these videos are for you guys, so you guys let me know. All right, so going back to this highlight, just adding a little bit more because it's never enough. Okay, so I'm going to apply that lash now. Be right back. Okay guys, so eyes are pretty much done. I popped on that lash and it totally makes the difference in the look. I mean, it went from like a mess to like a smoky eye. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on to do my lips. I like to pair a smoky eye look with a more subtle lip color. So I usually go in with like a nude or like a mauve nude. So for this look, I usually like to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics Cocoa Collection Liquid Lipstick in Chloe Money. This is slightly more pink, but I usually tone it down and cancel out the pink a little bit more by adding a more nude shade because if I put nude on my lips, my face, like it disappears, like my lips disappear and like you can't really see it. And I don't really like that with my skin tone, so I have to like kind of mix um, colors together. And I do line out my lips, so I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so I use the Estes Collection Coco Loco Lip Liner, and now I'm gonna go in with the Kylie and Coco Collection Liquid Lipstick. Gotta get me another one. I use it so much, you guys have no idea. So it's not like the neatest job right now because I'm going to go over everything with gloss. So I'm kind of just sketching out where I want everything to be before I apply the gloss. I am really quick going to make this a little bit more subtle, a little bit more nude, just in the center area, or try to keep it in the center area. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Noble. So what I like to do is grab the tiniest amount of this, apply a little bit to the center here, and here and I take my finger and I dab it in the lip basically to mix it in okay so for the last part of the lip this looks nice just like this if you like a more matte lip which I do but for my smoky eye looks I like to give my lips a little bit of shine so I like to put a gloss. This has been my favorite gloss so far because it's not too nude to the point where my lips disappear with my skin tone. Um, but it's like in the middle. It's like a good mauve pink, not like too, too mauve, kind of like in the middle of like mauve pink and like nude. So this is like the perfect shade for me. This is the Disney Designer Collection with ColourPop Cosmetics. This is the shade Guppy. Alright guys, so this is the final look. This is the classic smoky eye. Like I said, there are a million different ways you can do a smoky eye, different colors. As long as there's some kind of smoking out and blending out involved, you can call it a smoky eye. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys liked this tutorial. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, comment down below, and hit the bell for notifications so that whenever I post video, you guys are the first ones to know when I upload. And I almost forgot, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am at Donya Marie MUA. You can find most of my makeup looks, most, well, basically all of my makeup looks on there. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.